Welcome to the most basic of Audio Mulch tutorials. If you're not sure how to get started with Audio Mulch, this tutorial is for you. I'll be demonstrating how to load and play a sound. So the first thing to do is make sure that audio is enabled by checking that the enable audio button is down. That's this button here at the top. Audio Mulch has a range of built-in audio generating and processing components. We call them contraptions. They're in the contraption list here. To play my sound file, I'm going to use a file player contraption. To create one, I'll look for a file player in the contraption list and then drag it onto the patcher pane. Now I'm going to set up my file player contraption to play a sound. To do this, I double click on the contraption. This opens the contraption's property editor in the editor pane over here. You can find a sound file to use by browsing through the Audio Mulch samples directory. I'm choosing Bamboo Chimes. I'm going to check the loop checkbox to set my sound to loop. But note that if you're serious about making music with looping sounds, you should check out Audio Mulch's looping contraptions, like the loop player, the live looper, and the canon looper. You can also find them in the contraptions list. Now I need to route my audio signal to a contraption that sends the sound out of Audio Mulch so we can hear it. The primary contraption for sending stereo sound out of Audio Mulch is called Sound Out. And when you create a new Audio Mulch document, you get a Sound Out contraption by default. Now I'm going to route the audio signal I'm generating from the file player contraption to the Sound Out contraption. To do this, I click and drag from the outputs of the file player to the inputs of the Sound Out. These two connections represent the left and right channels of a stereo signal. What I've just done is kind of like using cables to connect up the output of a hi-fi component to your amplifier. In Audio Mulch we call this process patching. Now I'm going to click the play button to start playing the sound. So there you go. That should get you started making sound in Audio Mulch. Be sure to check the Audio Mulch website for more tutorials.